Good morning. Hello, it's lovely to connect with you today. My name is Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm really honoured to be here sharing with you this morning. It's Monday morning here, um, Monday the 14th, and I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for Monday and Tuesday. So an extra special welcome to our Temple of Balance patrons, our Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much. You help me be able to bring these sorts of videos to you and to others. So thank you. Thank you for helping me help other people. I'm very, very grateful. So um, I trust that you're doing well and your weekend has been or is, if you're still in your weekend, is flowing well. Um, yeah, good morning Shari and Wendy and Amy and Sharon's here, Tracy's here, Helen's here from England. Good morning or good evening or good afternoon <laughs> or whatever it might be for you. Good morning Arnab, I uh, trust I've pronounced your name okay. Victoria, Carolyn's here from Oregon. Good morning Michelle and Lulu's here with some purple hearts. Good morning Ali and Eva. So if you're new to watching, welcome. Let us know if you're new. It's always lovely to welcome new viewers and uh, new people who connect here. So welcome um, if you are new. If you are, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be pulling one card um, from my Speed of Light Oracle cards for Monday, one card for Tuesday, and one card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. I trust you've been led here for a reason, and um, I trust you're here to hear something that's important for you today, or to help you in your life, or to help you in this moment, to help you get through your day whatever it is that you need i trust that something shared will be supportive for you please don't come into these readings with expectations but just let yourself be surprised um, listen not only with your ears but listen with your heart listen with your body and allow yourself to really hear and feel what it is that you need today um, I think that's all i really need to say so i'm going to get straight into it so what i'm going to do is shuffle these cards and hold the intention to find the best card for Monday the 14th of August. So um, I just select my cards the same way, it doesn't matter what deck, which deck I'm using. So I recommend that you just find a way to pick cards and stick with it through all of the decks that you might use. So I shuffle, hold the intention, and I just trust my intuition when I feel I need to stop, like now, and then I split the deck into two, which is not half, but just into two. This works for me. Your way may be completely different, and that way works for you, so trust that. So Monday the 14th of August, we have got this card. How exciting, actually. I feel this around quite strongly this morning, being Monday morning here already. It's card 27 called Risk Taking. And the key words say, journey, unknown, beginnings, and confidence. There's a sense here of stepping out and trying something new, of stepping out of our comfort zone, of taking a risk and following our heart, and to not allow doubt or fear to, um, hold us back or get in our way from forward movement or making that forward uh, momentum and building that forward momentum in our life. So Monday, oh, the Rosellas are squeaking past. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so on Monday, we're really guided to step out and, and follow our heart. Um, this might be a really personal thing. In fact, it feels like it could be quite a personal thing for us as individuals, so really quite personal. A sense of personally stepping out there and taking that risk. So trying something new, perhaps implementing um, some new ideas or some new hobby or something new that we're wanting to start in our life will be very supportive and favourable to do that on Monday. So know that you're ready. 
because if you have this urge in your heart and if your mind is throwing up all sorts of resistance and fear then it's a strong sign that you are more ready than you might realize so tap into your heart and let your heart be your compass and your guide forward the more your lower mind throws up resistance or doubt or fear then the more amazing it is that your heart, whatever your heart's pulling you towards so I've noticed that as I've wised up to my ego and my lower mind that tries to talk me out of things that I might be wanting to try um, the more resistance it throws up the more important that is that my whatever it is that my heart's pulling me towards so keep perspective stay in your heart and know that you are ready and you have the resources that you need to step out and take a risk and follow your heart in your life. This feels like a long-term thing. So it feels like something that um, will probably help us in the long term. So it's like a pivotal, a pivotal moment now, a turning point now to make that decision slip into our heart and step forward. So there's a path widening right in front of us if we can follow our heart and step out of our comfort zone and take a risk. Try something new. That's what I'm feeling. So the path is widening. So if you've been craving adventure, if you've been craving a bit of excitement in your life, if you've been wanting things to really widen uh, on your path and wanting to experience more excitement, more thrill at this time, and sometimes we go, some of us go through those cravings or those desires or those points in our life just know like I see really clearly that the path has been quite um, the same width leading up to now but it feels like now this Monday there's an opportunity for many of us to widen our path and expand our experience through whatever it is that we're being pulled towards so trust whatever that means to you and if it means something to you just um, think on it or feel on it for a couple of days or Monday especially and see what you need to do because there needs to be action that's taken as well it's not just getting into the mindset sometimes or often we need to back that up with action so let's now look for the best card for Tuesday the 15th of August and the um, card that's most helpful to the majority of us thank you for all of your comments as well I will read them when I get back onto my computer shortly <laughs> I trust that you're feeling fantastic so the best card for Tuesday, the 15th of August, I trust, is this card right here, which is card 28 called Delegate. And the key words here say, ask, plan, organize, and assistance. This talks about asking for help on Tuesday and especially thinking about delegating chores or delegating tasks to others. This can be people in your home, it could be people in your workplace. Could even be people in your family. You know how some, sometimes a family dumps um, a lot of things onto the person that's the most <laughs> responsible or tends to take the most action in the family. So sometimes we need to delegate uh, chores amongst our family as well. So if you've been, basically this card's coming up, if you've been feeling like you're taking on too much and you're not really coping right now or you're feeling overwhelmed, especially on Tuesday. So Tuesday will be very favourable to recognise this and to take steps to delegate chores or ask for assistance if you need it. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need the help. Um, sometimes, and I've mentioned this before, sometimes I'll be in a space of just being hectically busy and overwhelmed and just in that mindset of, you know, just having so much to do. And then someone around me will ask, what can I do to help? And I'll say, nothing, I can, I can handle this. And then later on, a few minutes later, I think, hold on a minute, <laughs> <laughs> hold on a minute I really could do with some help but there's a part of me at that in that time and when I'm in that space that just says no no I can handle it so I think sometimes we need to just be aware of if we're taking on too much and perhaps we can take the pressure off ourselves by saying yes please help us or would you mind doing this would you mind doing that just to help take the pressure off us and to spread the load 
And this is especially appropriate with children. As we know, children tend to like to lump things onto um, their parent figures. So sometimes, in fact, it's very beneficial for them to actually delegate chores to them, even though they might not like it. So it, these might be sorts of things that we're contemplating on Tuesday and taking action upon if we're guided to. Get organised too is another thing and I'm feeling this energy around really strongly um, ever since Sunday afternoon actually um, is to get organised and kind of prepare yourself a bit in advance if you're in a position to do that because it does take the pressure and the stress off you for the days or the weeks to come. So if you know you've got a big week coming up perhaps think about in a few if you've got half an hour or a little bit of time to spare what can you do in that time to help take the pressure off you for the days to come so just a little tip there if you need to hear that <laughs> so that's the guidance for Tuesday okay I'm going to look now for the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday so I think of the theme as bringing these days together and helping us see the bigger picture of these days in question gee it's freezing here this morning I mean on the temperature it's not that <laughs> it's not that cold as far as temperature goes but we have a lot of snow around the highlands and um, it's a bit kind of freezing actually <laughs> so I'll be going in where it's warm in just a moment okay the best card for the theme I trust is this card right here which is a featured card card 48 white tiger so we're going to honor this there's further instructions here with this featured card that say um, for additional insight split the deck and take the top card so I'm just going to not think about it and split the deck here and take this card and we've got spirit bird okay so I'll pop the deck to the side and what we're going to do we've got featured cards here so we've got extra card an extra card for the theme for the weekend uh, for, the, for Monday and Tuesday rather um, and so I'm going to look at these cards separately and then we're going to look at them together and see why they've come up together so we have white tiger here which the keywords say schedule routine adjustment and time management interesting it's actually talking about through Monday and Tuesday it being really important to look at how we're spending our time and what we're prioritizing on or what our priorities are this kind of links back to that delegate card which I find quite interesting so really looking at how we're spending our time um, sometimes in fact often as we go through a really big personal change a big time of transformation we're really prompted to look at our priorities and reorganize them sometimes things will leave our schedule and other times things will jump up to the top of the list um, or sometimes think the list goes out the window and we just have to prioritize on what is important in that moment or at that on that day so um, think about what you're doing with your time, how you're spending it, and are you balancing it? Is it working for you? Is it in alignment with who you are today? Do you need to make some changes to your schedule or how you spend your time? These are the types of things you might be really noticing over Monday and Tuesday and perhaps even re really reflecting upon, um, even in your journal. Uh, making a plan, a doable list, um, or what, or a list of what your priorities are. So think about how you're managing your time. If you've been noticing or really aware of time going really super fast and you haven't had time to do this or time to do that, just catch yourself if, or be aware if you're in that sort of mindset or, or verbally saying this because it will make time go quicker. So just notice what you need to step back from so you can get some time perspective. Um, and that will help you kind of settle back into the flow of time and that rhythm that's there for you rather than feeling like you're rushing around and always out of time um, throughout Monday and Tuesday. Let's look at this second card which is Spirit Bird, card 37 and its keywords say heart, song, joy, excitement and motivation. I did some email readings yesterday and this card came up for 
pretty much all of the readings. So it's really strong at this time, this sense of tapping into joy and feeling a sense of motivation and a new sense of revival for our life. So a, um, a revived sense of purpose, a revived sense of joy and enthusiasm for our life. So that feeling when we wake up in the morning and we wake up with excitement and jump out of bed, <laughs> if that's something that you do. I do it most days, so it's quite normal for me. But there's this sense of motivation for our life and for our days and for what our days are containing at this time. So if you're struggling to feel this, there's nothing you're doing wrong, but perhaps just see if you can step back from your problems and the things that you're dealing with at this time and expand your perspective um, outside from, of your problems. Sometimes it's hard to see the forest from the trees. So if you're only seeing the trees and the problems and you're up really close to things that are going on in your life, perhaps take some time on Monday and Tuesday to take some deep breaths and really step back and expand your perspective. So you can start to tap into that space of joy. And I've got a delay again. Come on, Facebook, behave, please. <laughs> um, so that you can tap into your heart and tap into the joy that's available to you. Um, there's a sense here too I want to talk about of music and song. So if you have been feeling a bit low lately, pop on your favourite song and sing and dance to it, feel it lift your spirits um, and do these sorts of things to help lift your energy and lift you out of seeing things so close that you're struggling to see a solution or, a, or, or have that perspective. So let's look at these two cards together. I feel like it's talking about for some of us to make time for the things that bring us joy on Monday and Tuesday. So if we don't overload our schedule, if we don't overload our um, what we have to do in the day, then we might find those pockets of time where we can dedicate to playing our favourite song or to um, doing something that brings us joy to help us connect in with our heart and feel that joy as it grows as we witness or feel that music or feel that experience or observe the, the smile or the laughter in, that someone else that we're observing is experiencing and these things that bring us a genuine sense of joy. So Monday and Tuesday we're guided to make time to um, tap into that sense of joy that and in a way that works for us. For some of us, if we're really dealing with a lot of problems, it might be just to make time to, for self-care, to self-nourish, to self-nurture, to just rest a little bit if we can in between things. For others of us, it might be to create or to step out there to try something new. So it will depend on what resonates with you. So that's the guidance for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. So very interesting. Thanks so much for connecting. I trust you've enjoyed this guidance for you. It comes to you from my Speed of Light Oracle cards, which are available now. These cards are not sold out. It's my other old deck that sold out. So these are still available and they're going to continue to be available. Um, so they are on my website if they are, if you're inspired to learn more. If you enjoyed this guidance, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you're, if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Make sure you leave the correct email address, please. Uh, that would be great. So we can reply back to your your message. Now I've got a few things coming up. We've actually got my healing energy cards, which are the pink cards that I use um, during my healing events. We've got those. Um, we've got the ebook and a meditation is um, kind of with those at the moment with the deck of cards when you purchase those over about the next 10 hours and then that finishes. So have a look. If you want on my Facebook page, I've put a, um, some information on there last night. Tomorrow morning on Tuesday, we have our healing event, our private healing event for our Pillar of Light family. And it's always really quite profound. And I actually connect with people individually, which is the only video streaming that I do do that. Um, so if you'd like that opportunity or to connect more in that way or to enjoy the support and the insight that you get as be, for being a Pillar of Light family member, then have a look on my website. I've got new pendants coming up either today or tomorrow when I have time to put them up. Um, 
and I will be contacting our um, some of our patrons today to um, with some times for our private video conversation that we'll be doing next week so I look forward to that so if you want to learn more about me and my work please visit templeofbalance.com.au um, if you enjoy my work please um, share or talk about it with your friends I'm very very grateful have a fantastic couple of days I'll connect with you tomorrow if you're a pillar of light family member or I'll be back to share some guidance with you on uh, probably on Thursday when I do a bit of a road trip and I might come to you and share with you from somewhere different in the countryside of Tasmania so I reckon I'll be sharing on a Thursday so thank you so much um, I think that's all I need to say sending you lots of love from my heart to yours namaste